Now what we've got in this mushroom crate are um, some of my russet apples and I've harvested just about all the apples now. There's just one tree left of Blenheim Orange which I'm leaving for another couple of weeks. You'll see that quite a lot have been damaged with cod limb off. It's been an absolute nightmare this year. So any that's damaged like that, you can see the telltale frass there and the exit hole. Classic codly moth damage, so that they'll never keep. There's no point even thinking of trying to store them. What I am going to do though is put them in the fridge because this year it's been so humid, warm, there's so many fungal spores about. Brown rot just needs a few um, fungal spores, and then the whole thing just goes completely mouldy. And then if they're touching another apple, that gets it. So I've had to throw buckets full out, which is heartbreaking, really. Anyway, you get the point. So what I'll do is I'll I'll go through them all and any, like that one looks clean, they'll go for storage because they're best eaten November, December time really. They need time to mature. Now, in here are the, I was telling you about the jumbo apple. I included it in a clip in a previous video. So if I can find it, I'll put a link up somewhere. And the search is on for a one pound apple. These, what I've got in this bag, are the best off the tree. So let's have a look, see if we can find a one pound apple. Right, so these seem to be the best candidates. There's, there was nine apples in the bag, but I pulled these five out. They seem to be, you know, the best candidates for a one pound apple. So I'm going to get my scale set to grams or should we no let's do pound and ounces uh if i can get this camera any closer bear with me a sec okay so we're on pound and ounces Ooh, 14 ounce fourteen point one Do we tear off the little ladybird, lol? 12.2, <laughs> I think this is going to be a small one. 12.5, last chance, saloon. 13.5, so I think it was that one. Four, no, sorry. This one with a bit of a scar on it. 14.1 ounce. So I'm afraid I'm not going to do the one pound apple this year because, as I say, these are the biggest and there's only the Blenny Orange. I don't think they'll get near that, although they are fine apples. But 14.1 ounce, I'm pretty happy with that. Drop me a comment down below. What's your biggest apple?